Don't you always want to be the best you can be? The Frankie Boyer Show. What is this? It's more than a lifestyle show. It's a show about living in today's world. I think something is happening. Frankie enthusiastically brings an amazing eclectic mix to the airwaves. You got that right. One of the reasons she's earned legions of loyal fans is very simple. When you listen to the Frankie Boyer Show, you just never know what's going to happen next. So listen for yourself. Here is Frankie Boyer. And welcome. Well, with everything going on in the world, I thought it would be important for us to talk to someone today that understands money. And his new book out is called Rules to Smart Money Decisions. Money Rules is the new title of his book. And Harry Abrahamson, welcome to the program. This is, these are challenging times right now. I mean, we are just, we're in a pickle. Yes. Well, Frankie, thank you for having me on today. Um, yeah, we have a lot going on with the world and, you know, the economy and obviously um, some instability. And people are trying to, you know, navigate all of this so that, you know, their finances don't end up in, in an area that they're unhappy with or impacts their life. So as someone who specializes in personal financial um, economics and serves all over, the, you, you work with people in New York and New Jersey, but you, you travel and you work with people all over the country, the new book, what are you recommending to your clients right now? What are you, what are you sharing with them? Well, um, well, right now, a lot of what we, you know, I work with people all over the country, and a lot of them are either getting ready to retire or retired. And what we're talking about is really strategies that they can uh, have or incorporate into their plan so that when they are either entering into retirement or in retirement, that times like this um, don't derail or impact, you know, their lives or they can't function or or, um, you know, live the life that they really want. And one of the chapters in my book is is about protection, right? It's protecting against things that can happen, events that can happen that we don't know about, right? And, ri- and risk, real risk is everything people aren't talking about. It's not necessarily where they think taxes may go or inflation pressure, which is real. Real risk is things that people don't talk about, and that's really what's important. So today, a lot of what I'm working through with people is looking at their overall plan, their overall strategy, and how is it going to fare up against trying times if there are market downturns, if there are events that take place. Um, so it's really, you know, tactically looking at everything in the, in their entire portfolio, um, not only just asset based but insurances, and looking at things of, you know, hey, what, what, what are we what are we going to put in place if things don't turn out the way we think they might turn out. What if happens if there are, um, you know, corrections corrections in the markets or any kind of, you know, wars that are breaking out, uh, you know, globally? So I have a friend who lives in Colorado, and she was at the bank the other day, and she said there were several people that were taking large sums of money out, and she said the the. Uh, manager was sharing with her that yeah it was a it was a morning where everybody was just taking out a lot of money a lot of cash is this a time to be going to your bank and taking cash out well i you know i wouldn't uh, what i would do first is just really assess what you know people have there's different limits and fdi limits and protections in place for uh people um you know obviously if they want cash or need cash but um, you know, the one thing that's a little bit tricky now is taking money out uh, out of a bank and having it, you know, where are you going to put it? And the other thing is, is that even if you do have that cash, you know, with inflation being seven and a half percent, you're losing seven and a half percent on that money. So, you know, it's, it, you know, inflation is like a self tax. You don't actually literally see it, but it's eroding at that dollar. So, um, you know, people need to just they want to have a cash reserve. Um, it's just a matter of when they take that out, where, where are they going to be putting it? Um, and, and, and liquidity is important and essential. So um, money can be very emotional for people. 
Yes, very much so. Very, very much so. My other question to you is one that I'm sure everybody asks you. I'm sure everyone, you're so tired of hearing it, but Harry, are we headed heading toward another stock market crash? Well, you know, nobody has a crystal ball. And, you know, when you look at where the markets are right now, you know, we've had, you know, without just what's happened recently with Russia, it was approximately, you know, 13 years of the market kind of, you know, going up and everybody really benefited from it. COVID happened, um, but bounced back very quickly. And here we are today. So, you know, you, you know, it's important to look at where you are. You know, are you in retirement? Are you approaching retirement? Do you have years um, where something does happen? And right now, it's just a matter of, you know, how much risk do you really want to take? Do you need to leave the money in the market to get that kind of a potential growth? Or do you want to just maybe diversify or shift your strategy a little bit in case there is a big town turn or the stock market, um, you know, comes down unexpectedly? So I think it's, it's important to talk with your advisors, discuss an overall arching bigger strategy, um, and be smart about things, you know, and put things in perspective. So this inflation story is obviously not going, it's not going away. And we, we've had a couple of guests on lately that have shared with us that retirement is not so easy for a lot of people and they're putting it off and postponing retirement at this moment in time. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's a really, it's a very unique time we're in because I have a bunch of people I'm working with that are saying, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, stay working. I want to keep working uh, and relying on that income stream. And then funny enough, some of them, I had some phone calls from people that got laid off, you know, so that their game plan of working another two years didn't really work. And they're trying to figure out, you know, do they want to go back to work for another two years? And the people that are maybe holding off on retirement, you know, inflation's here. And, and the trick with it is, you know, you can't put money in a bank account or even a CD where it's earning enough to kind of even keep up with inflation. And that really in lies the fundamental um, challenge for most people because then they're going to be relying on their assets, their savings, and their you know 401ks, IRAs to create this retirement income stream. And they have to kind of weigh up, okay, how much risk do you want to take? What's the safe withdrawal rate that you can actually pull off to create that lifestyle? And then, you know, if they do have money invested and they're going to decide to stay working, how much risk are they going to be taking with maybe another two years more of work? So um, the problem really just doesn't go away. It's not easily solved. And people just have to be very prudent about, OK, if they're going to retire in two years, maybe this is time to take some chips off the table and not take on so much risk. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. With a lot of people leaving and changing jobs and all of that, you say one of the big tips that you write about is that you don't bring your 401k to a new job. Yes, because this what happens, there's a lot of flexibility with that 401k where you can take that older 401k plan rather than rolling it into the new plan. You can take that 401k and put it into an IRA. Uh, you can, um, if you're 55 and older, there's a rule of 55 where you can access it and tap into it, whereas if it's in an IRA, you can't. Uh, but if you have that money, there's a lot more things you can do with that 401k and potentially invest into different things. So if you roll it into a, a current plan, the only way you're going to really get access to that money again is, you, A, leave the company. Uh, which most people don't want to do, um, or, uh, you know, you retire. So you have a lot more flexibility by not rolling it into uh, the plan where you currently are because then you're, you're stuck, you know, and they may change the plan options or they may, you know, you may not like the options that will be available and they can change year to year too. So there's less flexibility. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for that tip though. That's a great little piece of tip. And uh, you have another tip, but is this the time, in your opinion, that one should be buying property? Should we hold off? What What are your thoughts with the volatility of the world today, Harry? 
So <clears throat> real estate has Oh, to Harry, I asked you that. I'm so sorry. I asked you that right before break. When we come back, I'm going to let you answer that, okay? So we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that and some of the other great great pieces of information we're talking today to Harry and the new book is out. It's called Rules to Smart Money Decisions. And it is Money Rules and Harry Abrahamson will be back in just a moment and the best website for people to go to is www.abrahamsonfinancial.com and we'll be back in just a moment stay tuned this is Frankie Boyer Biz Talk Radio There's only one place to find the most recognized brand in carpet, Stainmaster, and that's at Lowe's. Right now, get free basic installation with the purchase of Stainmaster carpet and pad, $4.99 or more. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Install available in-store only. Requires non-refundable site assessment fee. Fee is credited to final project price if bought through Lowe's. More charges may apply. Not available in all areas. See Lowe's.com for details, exclusions, and licensure. Valid 219 through 413, U.S. only. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Wait a minute. I've heard that before. That's the note Jeremy wrote to me in my yearbook in the sixth grade. How'd you even know that? Because it's from Geico. Yeah, yeah wait, here it is. Dear Luke, have a great summer. P.S. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Love, Jeremy. Geico's had this tagline for years because we help save people money. So wait, you're saying Jeremy copied you? <laughs> Yeah, that actually does sound like something the J-Man would do. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Have you thought about owning your own business jet, but didn't know where to start? Tune in to the new podcast, The Skies Above, to learn everything you need to know about flying private. Explore the different types of aircraft ownership and get advice for choosing, operating, and maintaining your own aircraft. Listen now at bombardier.com forward slash the skies above and on all major podcast platforms. Welcome back. It's Frankie Boyer, Biz Talk Radio. Harry Abrahamson is with us, and he specializes in personal financial economics and his new this new book is out it's called money rules and harry welcome back and i asked you is this a time that we should be let me rephrase that is this the time that we should be getting any major purchases right now mm. um yeah so um you know obviously depending on where you are in the united states right because everything is can be slightly different um you know real estate or big purchases um, you just have to be very, very careful because even with like real estate, real estate's done quite well. You always need to make sure you have liquidity in addition to the real estate, you know, and that's where people can really fall into traps by overexposing themselves, not having enough liquidity for things. And if people do decide they want to um, get into it as, you know, a potential way of investing and diversifying. Um, they have to make sure that they can maintain whether, you know, you need a new roof or they're, you know, you bought an investment property. If you don't have that kind of liquidity, it can become very problematic. Uh, in my area, we're in the Northeast. We have had such an influx of people buying real estate, not only as investments, but for, you know, moving out of Manhattan, New York and coming out. So the prices are unbelievable. Um they're remarkable. And, um, you know, if, if you were to be an investor and you have a piece of property, you know, selling right now is going to be selling, you know, at the top. Um, so and I have quite a few clients that have done that. They had, you know, beautiful pieces of property in prime locations. They've sold it. They're out. They get out at the top and they've moved to different parts in the country and um, they've made the move. So uh, it, it, you just have to weigh up. You know, do you have the proper liquidity to get into the game of real estate? Um, and then, you know, if you are doing that, are you buying in with the real estate market so hot, at least in the area that we're in? 
um, it's it's super super inflated. You know, I, I I heard someone say that this is not a time that if you can hold off on buying a car for the next year, if you can hold off on buying anything for the next year, that's the way to go. Because we really don't know, you know, having 100 people show up at an open house and the, the in, insane way in which, you know, showings are happening and within hours homes are sold not days anymore hours absolutely cars right now are unbelievable um and it's just you know it's just you know not the time you know it was funny my son he was trying to get into you know his car as a young man he's 19 and i just said to him this is just wait you know it's just it's just one of these weird times in our in our history where this is just not the time for it so if you can just sit tight just wait a year let's see what happens and then and you know it, it, gets, it can be frustrating for people but yeah unfortunately this is cars are, are another uh item right now that's just unbelievable yeah they really it's just it is crazy actually it's nuts what's going yeah. on um you've been playing around in this world of money for a while you've written money rules how much, I mean, does it all depend on what happens with the war? Are we now looking at, we had COVID for two years. Now are we just looking at seeing how this war is going to unfold? Well, right. I think we are all uh, watching. I mean, this is a, a, you know, it's almost unreal when you really look at the news. You're, sometimes you can't believe your eyes, you know, you're looking at this and it's 2022. Um I think the big thing, you know, with all of us, for the majority of people with experiencing, you know, the dot a bomb bubble, 2008, COVID, these are really very big events that we've all kind of been through. And I think we don't know what the next big thing will happen. So I think, you know, it's important to use the time, you know, that we've just recently have gone through with COVID to see, you know, what, what happened? How did you kind of get through that? What can you do a little bit differently and how much risk do you really want to take, especially when it comes to your finances? Um, yes. And, you know, you can get great. Someone may say, oh, wow, the market did 25 percent. Somebody may say, yeah, well, you know, my money was like conservative and I only got five or six or seven percent. Um, you know, you have to really weigh up how much risk is, is it really worth taking, uh, especially with the world that we live in now. You know, things happen very quickly and when they happen. It's not. um it's not a little, it's, they're, they're big shifts that take place. Yeah, very big shifts. So, so let's, you, I know that you, you work really hard to get great information and people are so confused, but you say that, tell us a little bit about the, the different chapters in the book, because you say needs versus wants and our lifestyle yeah the well needs and wants so like this is a really it's a fundamental chapter and it's it's um the chapter actually gets a little dark in terms of how it works and and the reality is is we all have needs there's actually real needs and you know food oxygen water right those are needs and yes what i find when people do planning and they're doing, you know, planning with their finances. They'll say things like, I don't know if I need that, right? So they'll, they'll say, I don't know if I really need that. Uh, but the reality is we live in a want world. So if you're going to plan all your finances based on what you think you might need or not need versus the wants that you have, you have to be careful because what ends up happening is, is that we all have, you know, what I call like secret wants, wants that you may not necessarily no, you know, you may have a lot of money, you may have been very successful, and all of a sudden one bad event happened, significantly impacted your world, your life, um, you know, and then all of a sudden you, you know, you're you the one that knows like, oh, wow, you know, I had 5 million or 10 million or 20 million, and sometimes these people end up with nothing, you know, like literally with bad decisions and mistakes, and so that they live in that want world where they themselves know that they can't fly first class anymore they're still flying maybe coach and they're living that subpar world that they that they desired that they really wanted 
And that's where people have to be very careful because, you know, when you plan based on just needs, most plans will lead to failure because we don't know what you're going to need. And we, you know, we live in a want world. So when you, when you're doing planning and that chapter is all about discussing and going through, you know, needs versus wants and how you want to make decisions and maybe reframe and rethink the way you're actually doing your planning. And then maybe kind of say, you know, it's, this is the, the truth. Like you do live in a want world. They're driving a nice car. They have nice shoes. They have a beautiful, uh, you know, jacket. And then all of a sudden their most of their plan is based on, I don't know if I need that. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is such good stuff. Um, we have to have you back and talk more about it. And congratulations on the new book, Money Rules. And give us the website, Harry, please. Yes, thank you um, for having me on. And the website they can go is uh, abrahamsonfinancial.com. And there will be a landing page on that. It will be available on Amazon, of course. But um, I appreciate you having you know me on and, and discussing a few things. Oh, absolutely. We'll have you back because this is great stuff. Really great stuff, Harry. And we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. I'm Frankie Boyer, BizTalk Radio. <laughs> 